Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. And uh, thank you for putting emphasis on talk. Right here on yes. the Lost Cruises channel. And we are doing uh, an interesting uh, drink today, which we've never tried. Why would we ever do that? I was going to do one that nobody's ever tried, but I, I gave up on it. You that. included? Yeah. No, I haven't tried this one. Oh, okay. Um, do that all the time. One of the few drinks that includes chartreuse. The other drink I know of is the last word, which is I was pretty hot on about three or four years ago. Uh -huh. You know, pushing that a little yeah. instead of Negronis. So this one starts out with something interesting. You're supposed to do, we have, hopefully this is rolling, but um, you do a rinse in your glass. This is called a coupe or coupe glass. And so that means uh, you don't really use it. You toss it around and you spill it out, and that's Campari. We, we'll rinse. both do it, and we'll see who gets the sloppiest rinse. Now, how is this glass different from a martini glass? This is uh, different because its lip is coming up, so it's better so that when you when you loop it around, it's not going to necessarily fly out of your glass. So you're okay. like this. Okay. Yeah. Put it all around. So. If you're familiar with the Sazerac, I'm sure you are, Mark. That's a, a New Orleans drink. You do a rinse of absinthe and then you toss it out. Uh, they say, you, did you get a draw rinse? Um, yes, yes I did. So, swirly whirly. We, we can keep it in there and keep swirling it. I will do the drink while uh, we're swirling. Okay. Keep that. Yeah, yeah you keep swirling. I'm a double fisted swirler. So this is basically uh, gin, sweet vermouth, and green chartreuse. So green chartreuse is the exciting thing here. That's in everybody's cupboard. Yes, everybody has green chartreuse, except the people who like it sweet and they get yellow chartreuse. Mm. So an ounce and a half of uh, gin. This is Beef Eaters, which is the one that's suggested. London Dry Gin. Yeah, which I also suggest for uh, Negronis. And I'm doing a, an ounce of, this is sort of like a Negroni, except we're using chartreuse. And that's, yes, yeah, that's true. It's, it's kind of similar. Um, so it's a red vermouth. The uh, recipe calls for Carpano Antica. Carpano Antica is one of the earliest red vermouths, and it tastes a little vanilla-y. This is Koki, uh, makers of the famous Koki Americano. It sort of has a similar palate. What else we got to use here? They do the chartreuse yet? No. Yes. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's not green yet. Ooh, look at that color. Chartreuse. Uh, so most people don't use chartreuse in drinks because, you know, it's like 50 bucks a bottle. <laughs> so. But you always use very little of it. And yeah, just an ounce. <laughs> here and there. Oh. What's that? Boil those bitters? And, and there's a baby thing, right? Orange bitters. Orange bitters. Oops. Everybody has that. Well, Angostura makes an orange bitters. I couldn't find my Angostura. These are uh, Scrappy's bitters. Come here. Okay, you got about three drops. That's not too many drops, but that's all you need. <laughs> it says one dash. Those are short dashes. So you, now you're going to mix them up. Yes, you, you keep doing your I'll job. Keep, yes. And uh, we'll get this nice and cold. So normally when you do a rinse, you rinse the side of the glass and then you toss it out. Mark and I have come up with a superior uh, solution. It's getting rid of it one way or the other. Yeah, putting it, we put it to good use. Does it sound done to you? That's how you tell it's done. Pretty much yeah, done. It sounds done. Well, the ice cubes are sort of uh, not making a lot of noise. You ever watch Simply Ming? Ming? Yes, he's a... He's Ming China? He, to he's an Oriental things? chef. He does a show every week. And he starts off with a cocktail as well. Uh huh. And uh, he doesn't—he doesn't shake. He stirs. Eighty-eight stirs. Eighty. See, 88 that's why stirs. I shake. Theoretically, you need twelve ounces of shaking or f fifty ounces of stirring. Ah. Or so, fifty seconds okay. of stirring. So we've okay, coated so the inside of our glass. Coated the inside of the glass. Now we're coating the Time inside of our stomach. Here we go. Okay. Gets you ready, doesn't it? S sets you up. Yeah. Mm. You know, your mouth is kind of coated. You can just put it in your mouth and so I'll see what you got to put in. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be really good. Oops. It 
Could be. I mean, you got green and red, and it turns out gold. Those two people you never want to say hear say ooh. Your the surgeon and your bartender, and the guy who circumcises you. Well, I call that that's your surgeon. Well, he he was my bartender. <laughs> Anything in a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we used to say at the temple. Ah, well, let me write this up. Okay, well, let's see. Cheers. All right. Tailspin. Ooh, it smells really good. Pretty sweet. Oh, that's that's chartreuse. -y. But being cold surely helps it. Yeah, chartreuse. -y. I okay. guess it's supposed to do the lemon twist. That might help mm. a little bit. Lemon twist. I can see where it might. Could you bring some lemon twists out from the studio? We're a fully stocked studio here in Las Cruces. Mm -hmm. The only fully stocked studio in Las Cruces. Or the only studio. Do you now, remember when there used to be a TV show, a TV station in Las Cruces? Yes, the broadcast. That's when we first started. That's where we got, had our first show, downtown KZIA. Yes. It's in the Bank Tower building. We used their machines. And everything. Their studio. That's why they went out of business. Because <laughs> we just used them too much. This is an interesting drink. It needs more something. No. Well. Dubonnet. We'll try it. The next round we'll do the Dubonnet. Ah. Maybe less, maybe less chartreuse. Mm, maybe so. Maybe more Campari. Maybe more Campari. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? Um, I heard those words. Are you going to say some news? I was. I thought you I would. You know, okay. That's kind of what we do. So now Jim Rosenthal could start watching. I'm just warning. Okay. We um, we got word that there's a new education secretary, uh, the head of New Mexico Department of Education. Did they call you about that? Is that how you got the word? They said, Mark. Do you know there's a new education secretary? And their they call go, went straight to vo voicemail, voicemail, and I didn't respond. Oh. Uh, yeah, she replaces, he replaces <laughs> Karen Tuhiro, who was fired by the governor uh, earlier this month, or last month. And the new education chief is named Ryan Stewart. He's and from Pennsylvania. Ryan Stewart from Philadelphia. Yeah. Worked at the Philly uh, School District there. And he uh, was able to be talked into coming here by the governor. Uh... I would say he's from Philly. He'd love to come here. Well, he was on a, I'm sure, in a much more challenging school district. Was he? I Philly, don't know. Philadelphia? We're the most challenging uh, state in the union, well, pretty much when it comes to school. Yeah. Although our, we graduation, and everything. our graduation rates are supposedly getting decent. Well, they're so getting we'll better. He should bring them up. That's not the only thing that counts, though. I mean, anybody could graduate to you. That's it true. doesn't mean you're going to know how to read. Can you read that? Well, did you go to school here? I, I did. You did. I did. You did. What was your graduation? I rate? can't read. I can only write. Half of you. Half of you graduated. Half of me. Yeah, yeah those are. That's a fifty percent graduation rate. The dumb half yeah. graduated. You know, they have to. Oh, so where are we going? Oh, you know, you have this written on your thing. I got this typed up. You, you have a computer at home, but I don't know how you get it written down like that. Mm -hmm. So, now, uh, speaking of education, where are we? The Las Cruces School Board just dumped. The superintendent of schools, Greg Ewing. Well, they had been As of talking. Yesterday. No, they had been talking about dumping him, well, but he resigned before they could dump him. Oh, really? Is that how? Yes, it? they did. That's how it works. Yes. Isn't that what happened with Stuart Ede? They say you're going. Stuart, you're going to resign, aren't you? The, yes, uh, I will. The uh, city manager had that same thing, where there is some suspicion, and then you resign. Right. See, a lot of people that happens to. But if you quit your job, you can't get unemployment. Uh, I doubt if you get $180,000 worth of unemployment, <laughs> you know, it's hard to get that from the government. Right. Unless and, you are the government. And you know what? Last week they just uh, uh, were going to give him a raise. <laughs> yeah, but of $6,000. $5,700 right? yeah. a year. Uh, they just authorized his new raise and then they turn around and dump him. What's good about him resigning is I don't think we have to pay him the rest of his contract. And that's what usually happens. Oh, well, okay. We, I think, you know, we haven't heard news about uh, uh, Philip, Philip San Filippo. He was going to a closed session thing la this week, I think, about yes. his continued employment because he was on a suspension with, with pay. He oh. and his assistant were both getting paid. It's been going on for about four months. Convention of Visitors. That's the kind of jobs we should get. Yes. Let's do that. I okay. Can't stay, be suspended with pay. <laughs> with pay, and then be brought back in to continue your job. We don't know what happened. We're no. still waiting to see no. what happens. I mean, if they we are the news, waiting for the news. If they fire him, and her, mm -hmm. Chris Favor could be the next head of Visit Las Cruces. 
Chris Faber now, yeah. who used to be, who used to work in Conventions and Visitors Bureau, is now the manager of the Rio Grande Theater hmm. downtown. Nah. So I mean, he's, it goes different. He's, he's been in Convention and Visitors Bureau for a long, long time. He knows everything. Yeah, but that might not be. They might get somebody in from outside. This is what happens. They frequently do that, don't you they? You know, the other thing that's happening is uh, Alma de Arte School. Yeah. They had problems. They had to bring new people in from outside. Yes, they did. Yes. Now, the, I uh, like these drinks. So, you know, that's why I come here. I don't care about the news. Come here for the I can read the news. You know, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I know you read the newspapers sometimes, you, you know, so you can get topics. I read a newspaper every All day. All the time. Every day. As do I. But you find out people, you can say something, and somebody will go, where'd you hear that? You know, it's on page eight, for God's sake. Don't you start from the back? I, I don't get my news from the internet, because I don't trust anything I see on the internet, really. Well, you should trust everything, and then see where they can flip. I don't trust anything. I, uh, I read the paper. I'm, I believe in the newspaper. I like to hold a paper. I'm an old newspaper man myself. and uh, I'll go. And so I, I read the local newspaper, and I can believe about 90% of it. Do you believe all the ads? I rarely look at them. You lead a very sheltered life. <laughs> sheltered life. You lead a sheltered life. You don't give out your, your phone number to natural grocers. I'm gonna go into natural grocers and sign you up. How's that? They have my phone number, I'm sure. I just don't wanna sign up. How would they have your phone number? You have to press it in, uh, and then if you're not signed up, you're not gonna press I it didn't, in. I didn't. I know your phone I number. I didn't do it at Albertsons I, either. Well. They, do you have our app? And no. how's your life going? You getting all the the sales? You get sales at Albertsons. You get sales at uh, Natural Grocers. You can save a dollar or two dollars off those eggs that you love so much. I, Chris can't keep supplying you with eggs, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, he only gets them once a month or something. I have a coupon for eggs. I'm going to go to Albertsons right after the show's over. What are they? Dollar ninety nine. Eighteen eggs for dollar yeah. uh, twenty nine. I think it is. It's pretty good. Are they organic, Mark? No, they're not. See, organic eggs that. Uh, not that we're advertising Natural they're not, Grocers. They're not a dollar ninety nine at Natural Grocers. Yes, they are. Not the organic ones. Yes, free range, are. yes. Free range. They're not organic. Oh. Organic ones are six bucks. Mm, they're two ninety nine. No, on sale. On sale. If you gave them your phone them number, if you gave them your phone number, you'd have that automatically this come out. Forty nine cents ice cream. Forty nine cent ice cream where? At Albertsons. At Albertsons, forty nine cent ice cream. With, with the app. With a what? With the, the app. app or a yeah. coupon? Oh well, you know, natural grocers. This is that. Every this is year like, anniversary. This is like getting a, a news flash. We got a news flash. Wait, it just came in on the ticker tape. It's late breaking news too, by the way. Do you get ticker tape news? No, I don't. Do they still make that? Well, yeah, I guess look they at the do. They do when you're when in like, the internet. If you're in North Pole in a station there. Oh, they don't have reception up there for that. Well, hey, you know, New Mexico, has, New Mexico got its first case of West Nile virus. Oh, is that good or bad? That's bad because you can die from that. Oh my God. And it turns out the first case is in Doniana County. A 47-year-old woman's got it. She's in the hospital. This year. She, apparently, you're she's, going this to, year. she's going to survive, yes. Well, this we, year. we know somebody who had West Nile 10 years ago, and uh -huh. she came from here. Yes. I can name names, but I won't. But she had a hard, a tough year. She got through it. Oh, yeah. It takes a while. But you don't always get through it. That's going on here. So I know people who are getting... We have a friend who had Lyme disease for a year until he t went to the doctor and they figured it out. And they gave him antibiotics and he got... Well, a friend of mine had Lyme disease. They couldn't, they, they misdiagnosed it many, many times until they finally diagnosed it and she died of Lyme disease. You can, you can do that. Sometimes now, people say it's lemon. So you've got to take precautions against mosquitoes. You can't have any standing water out in tires or, or containers. You, you know, you protect buckets. yourself from a lot of things, obviously getting online, putting your name out there, putting your phone number, getting involved. You are on Facebook, so you're out there, you're, you're a target. Yeah, I'm there. But you sit outside a lot. I do. That you're putting yourself at, at risk. risk, sitting outside. That's you, why I take precautions on my property. Which is? Standing water. Make sure you don't have any you of that. stand where, in water, where, is that <laughs> what you do? Where mosquitoes can breed, you get rid of that kind of water. Now, I do have bird baths, but the birds are in the, wa in the water every day. That's true, and you also do have a drainage ditch behind your house, which is a perfect place for growing uh, crawdads and mosquitoes. It's an irrigation ditch. Yeah. It runs past behind my yeah. property. Don't they All the properties crawdads? have that ditch if they want to irrigate. And sometimes when they're done irrigating, they're standing water there for a couple of days. So is that the logo of a new rock band? West Nile virus? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think it's time to take a break. No, they, they, they are not listening to us in the back, so we I'm, can just keep going. Uh, oh, let's let's uh, segue from West Nile virus to uh, our current mayor running for mayor. It took him this long. 
he's the, what, fifth to seeking throw his, his hat in? Yes, he's seeking his fourth term, along with, he's also going to be running against Greg Smith, Jesusita Dolores Lucero, Mike Tejas, Gina Ortega, and Gregory Smith, city councilman. And as we mentioned, uh, Dolores Lucero is really Dolores Dolor O'Connor. Dolores Connor. And, and Greg Smith is really Greg Chavez. And, and Bill Matisse said he would run if, if Ken did. But oh, uh, really? Matisse hasn't thrown his hat in the ring. We don't, he hasn't announced. So when he does, we'll keep you updated to that. And now we must take now a break. Now we're taking a break because they've like got the hooks coming. Oh, man. And when hurts. we come back, we'll come I back. I say with, you're supposed to cut on that. We'll come know? back with volume two of this yes. drink. It's going to be better. It's going to be worse. You found us on channel 98. Keep watching because we have so much in store for you. We want to grow together. Your channel, local and real. If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with the doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. And we are back to Double Talk. Who would know, you know, based on uh, production? Did you know? <laughs> we we got to watch our own TV show to know. Yeah. Nobody says, we need a thing that's a little snap oh. that says go. No, well, we didn't hear the entry music. Yeah. Uh, and we're back. We were just talking about the mayoral race in Las Cruces. And we're going to talk about it again. Five candidates, including Ken Miyagishima, who finally announced that he was going to be running for mayor. Those of you who aren't aware... He's the current mayor. He's the current mayor. And this is will be his fourth term. He had to think about whether he wanted to do it or not. Yeah, we had to have to think about it. It's not like he doesn't know what the job entails. Well, right? why rush the thing like this? We have his picture there somewhere, but um, and so he's the fifth person who's decided to run for mayor, and uh, he knows. You know, I think he knows the job by now, or maybe he just does it by rote and just. Phones it in, you know how they say they just phone it he in. He loves to go to openings. He loves to cut ribbons. He does. He loves to I chair. Mean, it doesn't look like he likes it. He loves to chair the councilman meetings. On the other hand, uh, we are also having a, a gradated voting. You vote for the one you like the most. Yes. And then the one, you, you, you go the down the row. Yes, and third and fourth and yes. fifth in this case. And uh, that's going to be a wild card, really. I mean... Somebody can get a lot of fours, and somebody can get like uh, like twenty percent fives, but get beat out by a guy who's got fours. We're, we're just doing this drink. Well, we won't tell you what's in it until we like it. Or not. All right, go ahead, yeah. shake it away. We could do it during the commercial, but then there's no fun for the audience, That's right? Because they love it. They they come to watch somebody in a colorful shirt shaking their drink. They're really good guys. Do it like that, but they wear helmets. Yeah. Now, also, one thing we want to caution people about: shaking drinks in lieu of these oh. mass shootings. Oh, what? Beware of fake cherries 
claiming they're raising money for these uh, victims in these shootings. And now, be very careful. a message from our sponsors. Please send money in because we're going to give it to the, <laughs> and the so victims. There, there are fake charities out there. That. A lot of them are on GoFundMe. Now, GoFundMe tries, says that they keep track in, a, in, a, in special cases like this. They, they keep more attention on these uh, funding sites. Um, but the El Paso Community Foundation is also another safe place you can donate the money to uh, in regards to the El Paso Massacre. Now, that's red looking. Because I didn't put as much uh, chartreuse in there. But and you put I put Dubonet. double, I put Dubonet and Campari. And Campari. So, cheers. Let's see what this does. What do you call this drink, Michael? I don't know. Bad? Well, taste it first. Yeah, I will. <laughs> no, it's not bad. I, mean, I think I actually like this one better than the last one. Yeah, I think it does work better. For some reason. I can because, almost taste the Because gym. the chartreuse needs to be fought off by something. In, in the last word, you have a chartreuse and a maraschino liqueur, and you put in some uh, lime. Uh -huh. So I think you need the essence of lime to go in a drink like this. See. I think that's what you need. Did you lose track? No. Oh, here you're talking about uh, well, you know, fake charities. Speaking, speaking of mass shootings, the one in El Paso, of course, took place in a Walmart because the maniac was inspired by things that Donald Trump had said. Then, a few days later, you had this idiot show up at a Walmart with body armor, right. semi-automatic rifle. He wanted to see what would happen. Right? And uh, another idiot spurred on by things people said. And uh, luckily, he wasn't killed because there was an off-duty fireman who had a gun and held him for the police. But he went in with it on his back. He didn't come in shooting. He didn't come in shooting, but you, so you know. He, he had some purpose to prove something, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, totally inappropriate. And now most Walmarts in town and probably El Paso are going to have guards. In fact, uh, they already do. Well, um, yes. I well, believe Target has guards, but they're not dressed like guards. They look like they're greeters. Uh -huh. Are they armed? No, they're going to put in quadriplegics? Well, the Las Cruces City Police Department is now um, guarding Walmarts 24-7 for who knows how long. What does that mean? There's four Walmarts and one Sam's Club. 24 days, seven hours a day? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And then what about next week? And who knows how long this is going to last. It can't last forever. No, but you know, we are turning, Israel has to do this all the time. Yes, uh, it's, it's guards basically a around theaters. It's a police state there. Yeah, and we don't want to live that way. We don't, but it's heading in that direction. And the only and the only people who benefit from a police state are the police. No, they don't benefit. Yes, they do. The gun manufacturers. They get overpowered. They get overtime. Now the cops that are, are guarding the uh, WalMarts and Las Cruces are off-duty cops. So they'll so be they get paid. They'll be banking. Yes, they're being paid so they by paid. Walmart. Overtime, it's 12 hours. That's shifts. what you're worried about? That they're going to get too much money? I'm not worried about it. Okay. As well, long as we're we don't paying have to, it. No, we're not paying, paying it. it. As long as we're Walmart. not paying it, that's fine. Uh, Walmart stock went up recently because they'd had a good uh, semester. Uh -huh. Good uh, quarter. Good quarter, yeah. So uh, when you see the cops at Walmart. Because everybody goes there. It, it'd be like our schools. You, there's always a cop there now. So um, how many times have you been frisked when you went into Walmart? <laughs> I really don't go to Walmart if I can help it. Do they, do they ask you for your phone number? <laughs> oh, yes, and if they're cute, I give it to them. Well, I think there's some cute ones at Target. Now, you should go to Target. You should I go to Target? I do once in a while. Uh, ever hear in the movie Iron Jawed Angels? No, I didn't. Well, Why are you going to do that? That's a movie that's showing at the Fountain Theater Saturday today uh, at 1 o'clock. What's about? Well, about women and the right to vote? They, they went out and they made it happen because they were sick and tired of not being able to vote. But uh, it's only today. It's only and, today, 1 uh, o'clock. And then it's followed up by a par big party on the plaza at 7 o'clock. What's that $20 thing there? Well, it's $20 to see the movie. The movie goes it to... must the, be a very special movie. But it's a fundraiser. Oh. Yeah. It goes to Worthy Cause. And it, so, then tonight... Could be Iron Jewel, the Angels. <laughs> and uh, Tonight there's a party on uh, the plaza. At the plaza downtown, Las Cruces. And uh, there'll be music there. Uh, uh, the, the, Bo, the band is called Bo, Bo Peep, Peep Shop. B -E -A -U -G. Bo Peep Shop. Show, show, show. The yeah. Bo Peep Show. Bo Peep Show. I don't know what kind of music that is. It's Little Bo Peep. Do you? Little well, Bo Peep it's show? got a, uh, a Mexican death skull and it's got a little heart. Death it's metal? 
Mexican death metal. Oh, ooh. that'd be cool. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, caramba. Now, besides uh, the music and uh, wait, who else? Oh, and, and food, the, tri- oh, the food trucks. truck. There's gonna be food trucks and vendors. So Patrick Payne will be there with his truck. Yeah, probably yeah. will be. Yeah, and then uh, then we have coming up uh, Sunday. Sunday tomorrow. tomorrow night, music in the park. Let me just say something about music in the park. Yes. We missed him uh, for two or three weeks, uh-huh. once because of the shooting, twice because of weather. Once you're out of town. We were there this past weekend. Yeah. It was really good. Was it? Was yeah, it was really good. Good. They I had can, one, the first guy. You never know. The first guy had everything taped. He was actually from Jersey. Yeah. And uh, and uh, everything was taped. He did the, the singing. He did a great job. One guy. And the rest, the next group had a wonderful female singer who did some great blues. Well, and we should. This uh, week we have Misty have Boyce from Las Cruces. Yeah, she does a modern pop kind of thing, and we have uh, Mari Dean from Rama, New Mexico. Rama, or is it Rama? As in Rama Lama Ding Dong? Oh, maybe it's a doo wop group. Hey, Rama, Rama Lama Ding Dong. Mary Dean Rama. I don't know where Rama is. Do you? I, I don't know. What do you have? F, what do you write after Down hop. Doo wop. Doo wop. Rama Lama Ding Dong. How you spell doo wop? And uh, isn't that uh, anti-Italian? No? Um, oh, after that little joke, I just made everybody hopefully a little happy. We have a very, very sad event, which was uh, in the paper Thursday, and you heard about it before. Uh, yeah, we lost Sally Cutter. Uh, Glenn Here's and, to you, Sally. Glenn and, and, and Sally Cutter of Cutter Gallery and Jewelry. We, we love them both. They were big supporters of the arts. Yes, they were. Both of them. And they were, they were sweet. They were sweet. They were very nice. They, they did a great job with their store. They had great art. And they were they worked for the town. Remember, we had them on our previous show. Yeah, we did. We did. And uh, also, we want to... We, it's, we have to Thursday. Start. We're doing the show on Thursday, but yes. you, you're not supposed to know that. We're, we're doing it Saturday. But uh, on Thursday was uh, Ignacio Nacho Anaya's birthday. He invented nachos. Yes. Ignacio. Really? Who thought about that? that? You know, somebody did invent the Caesar salad, and he's from, he was from uh, tequila. tequila. Not tequila. Tijuana. Was Tijuana. He's from Tijuana. And, so was uh, a Caesar salad inventor. Yes, he was a Caesar salad inventor. But Nacho was someplace in the frontier. Yes. And hey, he, he decided, oh, figure out, you take tortilla chips and put, put cheese stuff on, on them and cheese. And you, and melt you it. Make it have food. They have one of the most favorite foods that we now That's like uh, trying to figure out who made the first grilled cheese sandwich or who put the first piece of cheese on a burger and called it, what do they call that? I forget what they call it. Who put the ram in the Ramalama Ding Dong? You know, the Ramalama Ding Dong burger is what they call yeah. it. Yeah. So, so we're out of we're time. Gonna, uh, Michael, we're going to see you next week. We're going to have to come up wearing, with a name. Looks like you're wearing two candles on this. You see that? We're going to come up with a name for this drink and announce we'll it next see. week. Yes, we'll make a new drink. In the meantime, thanks for joining us see right here on next Double week. Talk. Thank you for everybody who watches. Both Ned of them. Ned and Jim.